Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time Roundup where you are updated on the biggest entertainment stories around you. There hasn't really been a week free of drama, like ever. So just stay tuned to find out all the drama that has gone down this week. You know you feel my has got you. So my anchors and I on Tea Time have been following the Shaitan versus Deban story, like bees chase honey, as you should too, because there's a lot of people yearning for justice on top of this matter. The latest update now is that Debanj intends on Sui Shaito of 1.5 billion Naira only. So we brought in Sega Link to converse with us on the matter. As he too had a lot to say on Twitter over the weekend before the story broke, dragging witches, aka feminists, in his words, of course, not mine. He even gave me basketballs during our chat at the show. Uh, so please look out for this matter and help us settle it because blood was just hot. Moving on, we also have actress Lala Akin Doju, who blasts Actors Guild of Nigeria for visiting Regina Daniels and Ned Umoku, basically insinuating that they could be biased and that that's one of the many reasons why she herself is not a member. My team crew had a stance. What is yours? Are they just being really supportive people or is the money speaking? What do you think? Also, when love that so sweet becomes sour, just expect a total mess. A couple that is knee deep in a lot of mess right now is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. These guys have been in the news all week. Not only are they washing their dirty laundry outside, they are also swashing, squeezing, and drying it in the court. The latest now is that Deb is saying Heard is actually the one, you know, being abused. Even though she claimed that he was one that was abusing her first, she, he is saying that she's the real abuser. Again, messy, messy, messy. Take a look. Debanj sues um, his accuser for 1.5 billion naira. Says he has always respected and honored women. And of course, he's um, blaming feminists that they are not doing their research mm. properly. And if they did, and let's uh, let this is his word. So if they did and let go of greed and um, wanting to get international Funding. recognition, mm. that they will understand the truth. Also, he called out, is he calling out now? He, he told in a tweet, he told. Um, Popular activist and legal practitioner um, Shegun Awosonya, popularly known as Sega Link, to name names and speak to him directly. But mm. then we have Sega with us this morning. Hi, Sega. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good morning. Um, how would you react to this um, tweet from Sega, um, from Debanch himself? I don't know. What do we make of the whole drama and um, people twisting your words as well? Thank you very much. You know, I, that's a territory that I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, how would I put it, I'm not new to. You know, it has been happening for years. And, you know, once something happens in our society and people don't find their sentiments being massaged, you know, they are going to throw tantrums. And you don't necessarily have to um, react to that. If you know if there's anything anyone knows about my operation or my uh, self, my being, my policy and philosophy, it is that I don't react, I respond to issues. And um, I believe that our society has been plunged into a lot of uh, decadence to the point where we need just not be throwing tantrums all the time, but taking action as active citizens, which is one of the reasons why the, our approach to um, advocacy, I am not an activist as such, I'm more or less an advocate, you know, and there are two different things. And, Activists only throw tantrums and expect things to change because they have shared their emotions. While an advocate understands the rule of the game, understands uh, the rules of engagement, understands the extant laws that guides the actions that need to be taken. In this particular case, when uh, you have people calling you from here and there on issues, you know, most of the time when people do things like this, they're just seeking people to support their emotion or to say the things they want to hear. And that is not my, that, that has never been my position. Um, I also understand the fact that the conscious, intellig intelligent manipulations of organized opinions and habits of the masses is an important element in every democracy. Okay, hi, hi, what is playing so out here? Because we has don't want nothing... this conversation to go so long and people don't really get the points. 
what do you know about um, the engagement of the NGO with Sheito and why does it seem like people are now beginning to drag the feminists and taking attention away from the facts that, or maybe the allegation of rape, not a fact right now, the allegation of rape. What exactly has this set of women done wrong that is making us move the conversation left and right? Basically, I've said this and, I've, and I'll repeat it again. Mm -hmm. Myself and my organization, Social Intervention Advocacy Foundation, standing in institutional gaps, bridging institutional gaps in Nigeria, you know, will not uh, be seen to discourage the activist will of certain elements that have tagged themselves uh, feminist, you know, in our society from helping people in need of urgent intervention. But the most, uh, if you observe what is happening in this particular case, the emotion of the engagement with principal elements that need to be contacted in case of any allegation was omitted. And this calls for the strongest calls, for the strongest call for a total revamp of the sexual assault uh, referral centers uh, processing in this country. Because public trial by media really shouldn't be Nigeria's only pivot of investigation and relief. There are certain um, positions that every party have taken. Some have decided to seek redress by the law, which is supposed to be what ought to happen. If anyone wants to go to court, let them go to court. If anyone feels that this situation is too messy for me to get into or to delve into, whatever thing that they want to do, they should do. I believe that as scientists, or if a scientist has a result in mind, and you go into an experiment, you are definitely going to have a biased situation there. That experiment will never be credible. But in this situation where people have actually deemed people guilty, people have actually decided to exploit a situation of another for their own personal gain, then I believe that that is not something that we as an organization or personally as, as a person will endorse. Is it wrong for the AGN to pay a courtesy Absolutely visit not. to their member that had just put to bed? Absolutely. No, but not. from from the response, I don't think that's something that happens. Um, Mona Lisa has actually come out to respond to this, and she mm. said this is what happens. I mean, when you're part of They've an association, they to... go to burials, they go to. So this is looking like a big deal because it's Regina Daniels, and, and because it's anytime Nenu is yes, Regina it's Daniels, it's Nenu it becomes Nenu a big deal. But this is something that the associate. This is her response on the screen, and she highlighted the things that being a member of the association. Oh, Mona Lisa. Yes, mm -hmm. you know she's a P PRO of the association. Yeah. So being a member of the association actually guarantees that you get this form of support. Whether you're celebrating, they celebrate with you. Mm -hmm. If you're mourning, I mean, those are two things we cannot escape in life. Yeah. They mourn with you as well. So um, I, I don't know why Kemi would want to go at them Yeah, obviously, I that can way. understand why Kemi would want to it go. Why, though? It looks because, bad. Um, it, it, we also need to remember that good news travels, no, bad news travels faster. And when it seems like someone is doing something that isn't nice, that is when the eyes are actually on them. I follow um, the Actors Guild of Nigeria page. I also follow so Emeka Rulas. I follow Mona Lisa Chinda. Mm. And um, throughout this whole pandemic, we cannot say they have been quiet. Even mm. if um, on this table we have questioned some of their, their, some of their uh, actions decision. and inactions yeah, and all that, sure. but you cannot say they have been quiet. And mm. um, was it yesterday or this month? It was yesterday as well that he posted how they are now in collaboration with a medical... Um, it, it, they are basically supposed to pro provide medical insurance for the association mm -hmm. and they've been able to sign that collaboration with some organization to ensure that. And other things they usually post to say this is the progress of what we are doing with the association. So you not being a member of the association, it's I, possible that you do not have enough information regards, regarding what they do or how I they do it. I wouldn't want to push what yeah. Lala said aside completely because mm -hmm. everybody knows where she is coming from. Yeah. Everybody feels like it's for financial support, it's for sponsorship, it's for this because Ned is involved. Now you guys are beginning to kiss people's behind so mm -hmm. that you can get some kind of favors. Now that's the general perception of it. But like you rightly said, if you're not a member of the association, of the guild itself, you probably wouldn't know what they're up to. You wouldn't know what they're beginning to do differently, how they're beginning to support their very their own and all of that. They said they went to two burials. They supported the, um, during the COVID-19 pandemic. I know they said some people should send their account numbers and they will send money to them. So they're beginning to infuse humanitarian stuff into so the guild. So. Yeah. 
it's nothing different from what, but because mm. it's something they're just starting, think, a lot of people they, are beginning to see yeah. it like it's because of uh, you people are just beginning to kiss people's behind and because a Nedunwoko is involved. And maybe it's quite a stretch for you to name a baby Nollywood baby of the year. I think that's quite a stretch. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Um, I, I think it's because people, when you see that, that picture you can't, or that video, you can't help but think if she wasn't married to a billionaire, would, would they ha would you still go would they would a just a normal just Re regina Daniels with the achievement and the duration of time that she's actually been in the industry um do you think that there'll still be all this attention with lights there's obviously lights and cameras flashes through the video so you know it was paparazzi like do they do that for every single other member hey well that's a question that of course should be answered mm -hmm. so um if how do i put this now so um I bet Regina is not the only one that has given birth recently. That's I'm what I'm saying. That, that's it. something that I would she, hope that if that there are other, other members yeah. of the association that have given birth or celebrated something that is worth celebrating with them and the AGN did not come out to support them, I think this is the right time for them to probably send a letter to Mona Lisa or come and call them out openly as well to say, nah, this is not what we do and you people have not been doing it. But based on what she has said, she's saying this is what they do. And uh, because it is a Regina Daniels, now this is not just about AGN. We are Nigerians and we know how things work. Mm. So if, um, for example, I mean, I don't know if Genevieve is part of the association, but this is an example. Yeah. If Genevieve Naji has something to celebrate mm. and um, is a member of that association, and let me even use myself as an example. I myself I am now a member of that association and I have something to celebrate. Mm. The paparazzi and the attention mm. that an AGN going to visit a Genevieve will get will be quite it's different yeah. from what me will get okay, because so what makes her myself, in that league then if it's not for Ned if you have followed I think even the mother has been actively involved in AGN and some of the things that are going on in the entertainment industry and so you will course, not blame them course, so I just feel I mean let's not even course, make it look like I'm trying made. if I just know about donations <laughs> if, if Kemi saying. wants to talk about donations maybe she should come out straight and talk about donations exactly but what she's yeah. talking about is them going to visit her when they have yeah. other things and I'm saying you can Pay attention to other things and still visit the members of your association yeah. when they have something to celebrate. That's what but, I'm saying. But, but like I said from the onset, there's absolutely nothing wrong. And this is how it should be for each and every member of the association. association yeah. That is when you give a little celebrate, even if uh, an Emeka Rolas cannot attend himself. Let, some, can. let somebody yeah. represent him. Let people go. Let them know you care. Let them know that you're a member of this association for a purpose. <music> It was a toxic relationship, and um, not we. It's you two. I don't think they are both. Yet, so you I think, think, think? I think there is one person that is the instigator. Mm. I think so. So mm. I, I'm tilting towards her. There's always mm. an instigator, but instigator. how do you reciprocate the instigation? If uh, we are all human beings, there's no way you can. Um, if you're, if you're going to allow a toxic relationship to breed, and then the person instigate violence i don't know how you can get out of that without violence except you get out of the yes, relationship you can. i did do you like to share your story i've shared my story like a million and one time you can't again. remember and you, you guys remember. were i was in an abusive relationship yeah so when she slaps you, you was, what do you do i walk away i drive out mm. i do oh, something really one time though not one time okay. severally I, just I have bite marks i have it. proof so when she bites you you don't try to stop just... us no i just walk away Mm. Yeah, that's how you supposed. Am I supposed to eat a woman? You're supposed to try and stop her. No, Especially if I try to stop her, you. she would fight the back. The pain was not tricking you, if, if somebody actually. So what if you, what if, if, if she it, locked the door, slapped you, and did everything? She's done that before here. I jumped the balcony. Oh. If uh, this this is not about you, <laughs> this is about Johnny Depp because it's getting deep. So you're jumping balcony and you're still in a relationship. Um. Well, wow. that was the point. I think after I jumped the balcony. That, was, that was the moment I was like, okay, it's laugh? the straw that broke the camel's back. And mm. yeah, so I was like, yeah, I need to walk away. Anyway, we don't, your, your so, relationship is not what's on trial here. So I came back. What I did was very, okay, it's not what's on trial. Mm. All right, so let's move on. <laughs> if you want to share it, you can share it. I've shared it like me. I'm tired of talking about it, actually. Mm. I, if, if she's getting attacked because he's trying to stop her, I don't think there's anything wrong with... Being stopped. I actually can't stand women who are violent because it's like, are you dumb? Like, can you not see how that's so bad? Because we 
we of all people should know how horrible it is to inflict that much pain on someone else for any reason. So um, I don't really like that. And I'm all for a man defending himself just as much as I would defend myself if someone was trying to attack me physically. Um, but I don't know the details of the situation. and I don't want to jump ship because the first person to scream for help was heard. Although things are changing and she's still getting Max even when <laughs> even when Johnny Depp is not in the picture. I don't know if she just likes Max. I mean that's just I don't that's know what thing. It, that's you know, her we've thing. Got like, this conversation. If I was saying how did we get there, but okay. So we'll see how it goes. I mean this story is how getting did we even more get there more now again. <sighs> when Depp is not around and she still has Max from somebody. So how did she get the mark? There are women that are just very, very crazy when they're trying to prove a point or when they're trying to make you so she inflicted get punished. Injury on yeah, herself. they inflict injuries on themselves. And you can even pay somebody punch me, punch me, just so that. But I can how would that? How would that trouble. nail? How would that help her win the case with? Johnny yeah, Depp? Pro, uh, the thing is, they're so obsessed that they don't think things true. So they just make moves without thinking it true. Like, oh, this guy's not even around. How am I going to prove this? You get me? But you just wanted to prove a point I'm and put a from picture. Experience. Put a picture out there. I'm not, no, I don't have that experience. Just. Okay.